What about people who are addicted to sex? Big boy. Is that a rocket in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? very little bit of their frontal lobe so most people already have a lobotomy and most people don't really pay attention so everybody has ADD and the result of it is it's easier to use the already wired circuits and the stimulus and chemistry that's involved with using those automatic circuits than to stop those circuits and begin to look at possibilities and potentials so the point is is that when we're using those automatic programs that are already wired they take place in the rest of the brain and the frontal lobe gets to go to sleep. So even though we think we have the free will to choose, we don't really have free will. What we're doing is choosing what we already know.
our mind literally creates our body. So it all starts in the cell. The cell is a protein producing machine, but it gets its signal from the brain. One of the things about receptors is they change in their sensitivity. If a given receptor for a given drug or internal juice is being bombarded uh, for a long time at a high intensity, it will literally shrink up. There will be less of them or it will be hooked up in such a way that it is desensitized or downregulated. So the same amount of drug or internal juice will elicit a much smaller response. Bombarding the cell with the same attitude and the same chemistry over and over again on a daily basis, when that cell finally decides to divide, when it produces a sister cell or a daughter cell, that next cell will have more receptor sites for those particular emotional neuropeptides and less receptor sites for vitamins, minerals, nutrients, fluid exchange, or even the release of waste products or toxins. Now all aging is a result of improper protein production. What happens when we age? Our skin gets, loses elasticity. Well, elastin is a protein. What happens to our enzymes? We don't digest as well. What happens to our synovial fluid? Those are proteins that become brittle and stiff. What happens to our bones? They become thin. So all aging is a result of improper protein production. So then the question arises, does it really matter what we eat? And does nutrition really have an effect if the cell doesn't even have the receptor sites after 20 years of emotional abuse to even receive or to let in the nutrients that are necessary for its health? If we know the thoughts of a person, we will best know them by their addiction, their continuous over 24 hours in a continuum of what emotions they display in their body. We shall know their thoughts. It's time for a course correction on our trajectory along the path of our adventure. And that course correction is the movement to a new paradigm. Just an expansion of the old. Just as the universe is larger than we thought it was in our modeling. And it's always larger than we think it is. But it all starts in the cell. And who gives the cells the order? The orders come from the neural net in our brain, which are based on the experiences and information that we've logged in there. So in order for us to change the chemistry, we would literally have to change the neural net, which means we'd have to change our identity, which means we'd have to change our attitude, or change the way in which we interact with our environment. And every time we keep being the same person, and keep experiencing the same attitudes, all we're doing is reinforcing ourselves as our identity.